Trump is praising the insurrectionists. The lie that the election was stolen is now something that is parroted across the Republican Party. When a ruler consolidates a party like Trump has, when he can convince everyone in the party to promote a fantasy, a lie, I mean, what stage of a coup is that? It's a legal coup, the legislative coup. I mean, we can call it, you know, what we like, basically. In Russia, for example, Vladimir Putin, he used the legislature, the Russian parliament, to essentially push through a legal coup with all the kind of trappings, gripping huge tomes, you know, presented about the legality of what he was doing. And he extends his ability to stay in office up till 2036. I mean, what's not to like in that for Donald Trump as well? He makes comments all the time about, wouldn't it be amazing if I was in uh, power forever? Four more years! Four more years! Now, if you want to really drive him crazy, you say 12 more years. Or when he's talking to foreign leaders. I heard him say this all the time, and these foreign leaders, you know, don't really have much checks and balances. He always says things like, yeah, I'd like that. Putin does have, you know, fairly unchecked power. But here in the United States, we've got a lot of checks and balances in the system until we don't. Do you envision a day where the outcome of, of an election is unsatisfactory to the Republicans in charge and that they actually overturn the results? It's already happening because, you know, the whole, you know, redrawing of the electoral map, the repression and suppression of the vote, another thing that, you know, the Russians do by calling into question any electoral outcome that doesn't go their way. We see it over and over again in, you know, the Middle East and Latin and South America. But it's happening here. It's happening here in the United States and people can't believe it. And it's going to affect their lives because what if you are on the other end of this? Because you might do something or you might want to stand up for something that you think is unfair. And then, you know, the system will come and get you too. Do you think Democrats are doing enough? I, I don't. I mean, they're fighting among themselves right now. They should be fighting for the, for the future of America. As someone who worked inside the Trump administration, what would it mean if he managed to get back into the White House in 2020? Well, I've, democracy's done, if it's not fair. The next presidency of Trump will be based entirely on a lie, irrespective of how many millions of people vote for him. They will have been duped and, you know, basically deceived into voting for a lie. The future of America and the future of democracy at large are at stake here.